what's up guys welcome back to becoming an ultra runner this is episode three and yep it's raining again my legs are on fire from all the deep heat i've used So guys, so that's the first interval done, um, quicker than I expected it to be, so um, the new heart rate zones are definitely helping. What's up guys, 30 seconds left and I'm done, let's have a look. What's up guys? So home, completely soaked. Um, I thought my legs feel lovely and warm. My deep heat is still working. So, oh, ah, I'm gonna be straight in the wash for this lot. I think I might have a shower, why not? Guys, so I've now made it into the woods. This is where I'm going to do my technical downhill session. Um, usually it's quite muddy in here, and there's definitely um, like roots and stones and things. It gets a lot steeper further down. Um, as it's my first downhill session properly, I'm using this one as a bit of a taster to see how it goes. I'm probably certain I could come up with something a lot steeper. Um, but we'll start with this. Um, my biggest concern is that my longest rep is four minutes, and I'm not sure I've got four minutes of trail. Um, well, four minutes of downhill. At some point, it flattens and then goes down again. We'll see. I've been told to run this like you're running a 5k trail race, so basically pretty fast, all out almost. Um, so I've done most of my warm-up now, I might just quickly do some dynamic stuff, but then, um, then it's 20 seconds, 40 seconds, 80, 160, 240, twice. So let's see how that goes. What's up guys, so I ran out of technical trail after two minutes, um, had to make a split decision and I'm going to do four reps of two minutes rather than two reps of four minutes because the point of a session is for me to get better at the technical downhill. The second batch of two minutes, we're going to just be flat and kind of flow in trails and no real benefit. So, hoping Doug agrees. Um, four reps, two minutes coming up. What's up guys? Welcome back to Becoming an Ultra Runner. All right, so I've casually mentioned it in my videos, but I thought now was a really good time to talk about it. Since January, I've been working with a coach. His name is Doug and he is from TMR Coaching. So I've been working with Doug from beginning of the year, from January, and we're about eight weeks in now. Doug's got a YouTube channel. That's where I first became aware of him. I put a link up there and a link down there. So you guys can go check out his channel. Um, I first became aware of his videos when he was training for UTMB last year. He did a whole video series of him 
training for this race. As someone who's really interested in that race and someone who was training for their first major ultra, those videos were really, really useful. And I do remember a lot of things he said kind of resonated with me. So talking about strength training, talking about metrics like how much elevation you should aim for per kilometer and things like that. And to give you a bit of an overview, we work in four week blocks. So three weeks of building and then a recovery week. We've just finished or we're just finishing now the second block. So we're on the recovery week. Running is about 60% of our weekly kind of volume and we also do strength training and work on the bike. So for anyone who's interested, we use the seven zone heart rate system. Um, luckily I leave most of the thinking to Doug. So he tells me to go out and do a, a lactate threshold test. I go do it, he gets the results and then we update my heart rate zones and then he'll tell me do this session in this zone and do that session in that zone. And so far it's been really, really good. I wouldn't say I'm the fastest I've ever been, but I'm coming pretty close to it. The best bit about it is I'm also building my endurance and my, my long distance runs at the same time. Whereas in the past I might've been quick, but I didn't have the endurance. So now I'm kind of building both together. I'm doing loads of gym work. I'm feeling a lot stronger. So yeah, everything is going really, really well. We've still got like five months to go till the main race, which is Lakeland. I'm going to put links below, not only to his YouTube channel, but to his website as well. So you guys can find out a bit more about him. So if you guys are interested in working with a coach, I would absolutely recommend him. Yo, what's up guys? So it's Sunday, Sunday afternoon, and I'm a little bit hungover. Well, quite a bit hungover. And today there's no long run, luckily, as it's a recovery week, but we still kind of have a long run, it's just short. So today it's one hour and 10 minutes, but same as normal. So zone one, zone two, 40 meters of elevation per kilometer. Um, so I've come back to Kumkan and that means an hour 10 is pretty much a trek up to the top and a jog back down really so feeling pretty sore today uh, my knee my right knee has been a bit sore since the tempo and the downhill work um, and my hip flexors are tight as well um, so I'm taking it extra easy um, so with that and the and the hangover as well. I probably shouldn't have come out today. Not really feeling it. Um, but I guess there is a bit of a benefit to coming out and training like this, even though it's not about the long run today or speed or anything like that. I could use this one as more of a mental uh, game today because, you know, I've come out when I'm aching, not injured, but aching come out when I don't want to, when I'm tired. You know, I'd rather just sit on the sofa today. So maybe it would have been smart to rest. But on the other hand, you know, I'm coming out and getting it done when, I, when I'm not feeling great, when I don't want to. So hopefully that'll help build up some mental resilience as well. All right, guys, so that's me at the top of the climb, uh, 20 minutes in. Um, and that was awful, really bad. My my calves have got really tight climbing up there. Um, to the point now where I'm struggling to walk even though we're on a flat up here. Um, honestly, right now, I don't see much benefit in carrying on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes to just rest my legs and then if they don't start to ease or feel a bit better, what I'm going to do is just I'm going to jog back down the hill and call it a day. I'll probably have done 30 or 40 minutes by the time I'm back. So something, but right now I'm getting no benefit from this. It's, my body's not, um, not functioning today. And um, if anything, I'm worried I'm just going to make things a bit worse. You know, my calf started aching. Uh, you know, I've got to run again on Tuesday, so I don't want to 
put in a push through this effort, this crappy effort, and make myself worse for later in the week. So we'll see. I'm going to give it a couple of minutes. What I might do is then jog down. Maybe I'll feel better once I hit the bottom, and then I'll um, do something a bit flatter. I don't know. Uh, what's up, guys? So I feel a little bit better. Um, after waiting around for a few minutes at the top, um, kind of the, the tightness in my cast just kind of eased away. So um, I took the longer route back around the hill and just jogged gently. I've hit the bottom now and yeah, I feel all right. So I'm, I'm just gonna try and round it up to an hour now if I can, but it's not quite workout on paper, but just oh, I just tick it off. At least I feel like I'm not hurting myself now or doing something wrong or any damage. Right, I'm going to run back to the car and call it quits for today. Um, I've got... Next week is an interesting one because I'm on call with work. So I can't really go too far, but I've also got to fit in all my workouts as well. So, always a tricky week. Um, so uh, I'm going to have to go home and I'll have a look at the training plan and see what I can fit in early in the morning or what I can do on my lunch hour or whatever to avoid risking being out in the mountain somewhere when I get a call. Right, let's go back to the car and then um, let's head back home and have some food.